Hey guys, this is Wanda the Traveling Dutchie coming right at you from beautiful Costa Rica. In today's video, we're going to discuss the Costa Rica travel insurance that any traveler needs entering Costa Rica. And by any, yes, also when you're fully vaccinated. You see, these requirements have been a bit tricky for travelers and sadly people have been left at immigration with problems entering the country. So today we're going to clear that up for you. If you're new to this channel, I'm a Dutch expat and I have been living in Costa Rica for the last 16 years. I actually co-own a travel company, so for the last eight months, I have been advising my clients to purchase a specific company that not only meets the requirements, it's also more affordable than the Costa Rica ones the government advises you to get. They're pre-approved policies of local travel insurance companies. However, the policies are in Spanish. So if you actually need to make a claim, it gets a little bit complicated. And like I said, they are more expensive than, for example, the company that I would suggest. Now, this company might not be pre-approved like the local travel insurance companies. This is an international uh, travel insurance company. But like I said, for the last eight, nine months, all our clients have been entering Costa Rica just fine with this travel insurance because it meets all the requirements. And not only that, you will receive a visa letter stating that it meets all the requirements. Now, let me share my screen with you because that way it will be easier to understand exactly what you need to do to be able to take advantage of this travel insurance company that offers more affordable rates, meets the requirements. All right, so let's get to my screen. All right, guys, here we are. First, let me even show you where you can find the link to the insurance company that I recommend. So when you're done watching this video, so this would be my video here, you scroll down to the bottom, you get over this section, this is when you're at a computer, and you'll see a link here. If you don't see it, you can click on show more, and once you click on this link, it will actually take you to the website of the travel insurance company. Then you see this green box, traveling to Costa Rica, you want to click here. Then you will see the requirements of the Costa Rica government and then you want to pick which package fits best for you. If you are from the US, you want to pick the Safe Travels Explorer this is just the basics, and this is also the most affordable one. If you are not from the U.S., you want to pick the Safe Travels International Cost Saver. And then you just simply click on it, and then you go here to get a quote. Then you fill out all this information, and if you like it, you pay you actually receive a confirmation in your email, which will look like this. This is just a sample of uh, a previous traveler. So the price will always depend on the amount of days you are in the country and how expensive your trip was. Here you can see this trip was $3,000, it was for two people. It also depends on your age. Now, here you see visa letter, certificate, ID card, this is visa letter actually has listed out the exact requirements the Costa Rica government wants you to have. So once you've added this specific page to the health pass, and let me show you, if you actually go to the description below, you will see fill out electronic health pass form. So if you click on there, this one becomes available 48 hours prior to your flight to Costa Rica, not before that. And then you simply click fill form. It's super straightforward, super simple. 
and here it, it, it talks about the travel insurance. So this is where you want to attach this document. Okay? Now, if you are on your phone and you can't find the links, let me show you. You have to click this little down arrow and the links will pop up. I picked this insurance company simply because it has more affordable rates than the Costa Rica government's options has. The policies are in English. They provide this visa letter that states the requirements that the Costa Rica government wants you to have. And all my clients for the last eight to nine months were accepted with this information. So I highly recommend uh, using this company They've been in business for a long time. They're reputable. If you have any questions for me, leave them in the comments below. I'm happy to help. If you found this video helpful, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up or a comment. And if you want to keep up to date on the Costa Rica entry requirements, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the little bell icon so you actually receive a notification when I have an update for you regarding anything related to Costa Rica travel, entry requirements, Costa Rica living. I want to thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Ciao!